Whom do you credit most influential in your life, Mayor? It can be more well, it would one. be Robert Kennedy. It really is. You know, our, our son, Madeline, and I, uh, uh, when, when Sidney was born, we named him Sidney Robert uh -huh. Abramson. I didn't know that. And it had to do with the fact that I had traveled in that campaign, and Robert Kennedy was, was such a major part of my life. Mm -hmm. And when we got married and cleaned out Madeline's condo, mm -hmm. we found she had kept a scrapbook oh, wow. as a teenager about Robert Kennedy. And wow. so uh, he was the one that got me engaged as he talked about bringing the country together, black and white, Jew and Gentile, old and young. He was working at the time with, with Cesar Chavez, uh, with the, with the, um, the uh, uh, folks out in California in, in terms of, the, of, of those who were trying to get a decent pay. Uh, and lo and behold, Cesar Chavez's granddaughter okay. worked with me in the White House. I mean, how about that? For yeah, I mean, you know, you know she, the, the 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 food workers out there, the folks who were the, doing all that stoop labor and, mm -hmm. and providing all the food for the United States. You remember all those issues back then, sure. with iceberg lettuce and all that yeah. stuff. So, so uh, all of that created in my mind a desire to help and be a part of public service. Mm -hmm. Robert Kennedy sh said to me that. Um, Public service is the greatest part of anything he'd ever done. Mm -hmm. um, and that got me focused on if an opportunity arose, I wanted to do that. Did you actually get to spend time with him and get to know him? Yeah, I traveled. I literally physically traveled with him city by city. In fact, in the, the one that, that most people talk about and has been written up in several of the books on Robert Kennedy uh, was the time I was with him in Indianapolis, mm. the night that uh, Dr. King was, was assassinated. If you remember that, uh, uh, Luger, uh, Mayor Luger, mm -hmm. uh, was uh, uh, the mayor prior to being a United States senator. Right. Uh, so, uh, we were going into an African-American neighborhood. We had a flatbed truck where he was going to speak to maybe a thousand people. Mm -hmm. They waited three and a half hours because he was running late. And we met him at the airport. Uh, Luger said, I can't protect you. Uh, I would recommend you not go. Senator Kennedy said we're going, mm -hmm. uh, and we did just that. And as you remember, because mm -hmm. the video has been shown over and over again, his connection with the audience and and his explanation of he too had lost someone to an assassin's a, a loved one sure. to an assassin's bullet. Indianapolis was the one major city that didn't explode in that 1970 uh, 1968 riots. That occurred when Dr. King was was uh, assassinated. So, um, yeah, and and I talked a lot with him about Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And you know, so many of my friends were uh, going to Canada, were not going to serve, and and he had told me, if you get your notice, you should go and mm -hmm. you should be a part. And I did get drafted, and I did spend two years in the army um, with the orders to go to Vietnam. But fortunately for me, I got as far as California and. Uh, President Nixon put a cap on the number of troops in country, and I got to stay in California for my wow. second year. Wow. But we talked a lot about it, Robert, uh, Senator Kennedy and I talked a lot about what to do for poor folks, talked a lot about what to do for economic development, job creation, how we could get people to feel hope for the future, and all of that played a role in, in my life. It's amazing that you get to spend that much time with him, and it, it, it's a remarkable in this day and age for some, a politician to put themselves in the position he oh, did yeah. <laughs> in terms of danger. Mm -hmm.